Hi everybody! I'm about to dive into a 30 minute soul journey session. I'm going to go ahead and read the client goals and get started here. Okay, it says, Hey Abby, me and my spirit team are talking now over 67 days straight. My grandmother is in the team too. We wrote three Rainbow Children books and now I'm so curious what my grandmother has to say about these three books. The special two months with her in spirit. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. So 67 days straight with your grandmother and your spirit team. And you wrote three books. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and relax and, and get started. All right, I'm, I feel a breathtaking experience here. I feel breath taken, my breath is taken away in a good way. But I'm also like an eagle and I'm soaring right now. And I can feel the energy breezing past me and I feel alive. And I feel able to access life itself and to feel free to glide upon the winds of life. <laughs> That's literally what this is like. It's amazing. And I'm still, I'm at the edge of a cliff. Uh, but this cliff is extremely meaningful here. And it's not your average cliff. I mean, I'm really high up. I'm so high up, I can't see the ground. And there's a little bit of a branch that comes out in a bird's nest um, in the hands of the branch. And there's a woman here. But as I see this scene, there's actually a woman's face sort of uh, like a watermark uh, on top upon the scene, okay? So I can see her face is sort of um, very light and I see very crisp and intensely this cliff which is brown in color and uh, I don't know what else is here other than the white clouds and then this uh, branch and the nest. So let me see. Yeah, you're here and you're you're whistling. You're like, you like, you know, like that type of whistle, like it, but it's loud and you're using your fingers to do it. You're calling for someone. Oh yeah. There's a lot of beautiful energy here. There's a bear in a cave in here. There's a bear in a cave here, but I, I don't necessarily see the bear come out. Although I can tell there is a bear in a cave up here. There's also a fairy, and I will say this fairy is full-fledged human size. She has super sparkly wings, and they're like a peach color wings with glitter. She kind of reminds me of Tinkerbell right now because she has the little balls on her shoe, and she has her hair in a bun, and she has a star upon her wand. It seems so, it's like almost cliche, but it's amazingly awesome. Her energy is so fun and spunky. She's got like a fun, spunky energy. She comes and gives you a really big hug and tells you how much she loves you. And not to be afraid of the bear in the cave. And all the while, this watermark, this image of the woman is still watching over you all the time. And it's interesting because I'm tapping into your grandma's energy, but her energy, <laughs> it's got a very similar essence to Mother God. <laughs> I'm not kidding you here. Because when I look at the watermark, it tells me that this is a reflection of your grandma. When I look at the watermark, it tells me that this is a reflection of Mother God looking over you. Um, so they're blended together. It's actually really cool. The way that it feels is really cool. You look, this, this here tells me um, that you are lovingly watched over by <laughs> powerful. And I, I will say your grandma is very, your grandma has some gusto about um, the love and the, the kind attention that she shares with you. It's very noticeable. So there's a part of you that is thinking really hard. I really want to dive into these books here, but this is what I need to show you first, okay? Because, I mean, it's almost like you're accessing ideas more than just the books. 
But it's also, I mean, it's like, uh, okay, here you are, the human, down here, way, way, way down there. And then you're venturing off to a place that is above the world itself. Um, and you're accessing amazing energies here. And I creative ideas. But there's something about bringing the creative ideas to earth, right? Um, so you have the creative ideas in this higher state of being. So now you've manifested them into actual books. But there's something about the importance of merging both places together. Like, uh, so you could be a, you could be a person, right? And and then you could have your person experience, your human experience, and then your spiritual experience. Or you could be a spiritual person, you know, you like bring the spirit realm um, to the earth through you, through every walk, and every step you take. And it's, this is just the beginning of something, okay? Okay, so, so why are you still sitting down here? I mean, something, so much exciting stuff is happening. And you're collaborating. There's ideas here developing. Okay, this is a new thing. I'm noticing that you're sitting down Indian style, like uh, cross-legged. And the branch with the bird's nest is here. And you're looking past the bird's nest and we see the white clouds since we're up so high. Oh boy. What is the meaning of this? I see a part of your spirit leaves your body and it goes into the white clouds. And I hear the word you're having a vision. Hmm. And there's a time that passes and you're, this part of your essence is not returned to you just yet and you're patiently waiting. There's something very symbolic and significant about the branch that's much like an arm with a hand holding the nest. There's something significant about this. It hasn't explained what, what it means more than what we're looking at here. Hmm. So now what I'm seeing is this, this time that this part of you has gone into the white clouds, there's a delay which is actually the time it takes for this part of yourself to collect quite a substantial amount of some things, okay? So when it's coming back, I see that connected to it, it's like on and on and on and on and on and on of things, stuff like uh, birds, objects. Um, I don't know. It's like a, it's like bringing a whole world to you as though it's uh, you're, you're moving from one house to another and you need all these different belongings. So it has all this stuff, but it feels like a world. It's bringing the world to you. And there's something about birds because um, a lot of what I'm seeing here is also has a lot of birds connected to it. And it's bringing this um, information, this energy is bringing the world to you. It feels creative. It feels like you're accessing something extraordinary here. Hmm. And you are open to receiving this absolutely. And you actually feel strong. When your grandma is here, you feel a strength with that. And you also feel a strength with Mother God too. So there's something about these female energies the fairy that is here as well, who tells you not to be afraid of the bear, also encourages you to have strength. So there's a big message here about, um, about strength. So there's no need to feel vulnerable or uncertain without confidence um, because strength too is confidence. So um, it's a knowing that everything is absolutely correct and don't... Um, well, what, how do I put it? Like, don't, um, don't be, don't, don't let anything, um, kind of come out and, and, uh, like encourage you to change your, your stance, your place, like the bear coming out of the cave. Don't let anything, um, stand in your way or threaten you or intimidate you. Um, so you don't need to allow that to happen because you can feel strong. But I do feel how, um, this strength, you, you feel like, um, 
like a beautiful energy um, when when your grandma energy when the grandmother's energy your grandma's connected to you I feel that I feel that it gives you strength as though you have an angel watching over you and you feel very comfortable with that very trusting in that very believing in that and the power of that love which makes it strong for you and helps to um, encourage you to feel strong within yourself. And I'm not, I, I keep seeing the branch of a tree and it's, it's got, it's like, a, you know, trees that branch out, they're branching out to different areas, right? But I see that um, there's one of these branches of your grandmother, it go, goes straight to Mother God. So it, it's like her reflection and Mother God's reflection um, overlap. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. Hmm. Okay. All right. So all of this has come to you, all of this information. And we're going to organize it. And it seems like you know exactly what to do with it. I mean, it doesn't feel overwhelming to me. When I look at this, it's like, I have no idea where you're going to start with this. It's just, it's just like so much here. But you're like, you got this. I mean, you seem to know what to do with all of it. You seem to know. And I, it's your grandmother that gives you this confidence and this flow. It, she really does. And, and it gives you the power to believe in yourself as well. You feel so supported. This is a really good thing because... What you're creating here and having the confidence in what you are creating, do you see how important that combination is? So let's say you create something, but you don't, you're just shy about it or timid. Um, how is this beautiful creation then really going to make an impact unless you own it, right? Unless you own your creation and you, you believe in it, you know, you believe in it too. I don't, I feel like this is not the end of projects for you. And I feel more coming. Okay, they want to show me something else, something new. So we're just, let that image just be what it needs to be. And then I'm going to go into something new. Okay. Huh. So there's a slide that goes straight down. But then um, there's a like a line that goes down here and creates a triangle, okay? So one of the triangle lines just goes up, straight up past the point. And I'm sliding down. Something, though, is unfinished here because... Um, because for them to be identical on both sides, then I need for, let's say, so like the right side, like the, the slide that just keeps going all the way up. And then the left side, it, um, it only go, it just stops where that line is. And it needs to go through the line to cross over and create another line. So it's identical on both sides. It feels like this. Let me see. All right, something new. This is so, this is an important thing. I'm going into it a little bit more deeply. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to tell you this, but there's a lot more good stuff I want to tell you. So, there's this has something odd to do with a little bit of a jam here in your heart, okay? Just a little bit of tightness. So I'm just going to reach in and touch your heart. I don't know where this would be coming from. It feels like you're in your um, sanctuary. You're in your uh, know when you're uh, connecting with your spirit team, your grandmother, and with all of this amazing love. You're in your element. Um, there's something about being in your element in this way, right? With the spirit realm. Um, and then being in your element as a human too. Um, how do we merge those two? How do we create, um, an identical scenario here? So where you're in your element with the spirit realm to be identically in your element as a human, 
um, to merge again. Uh, what is the spiritual you, not by keeping it separate from the human you, but like really, really finding a way to walk as the spiritual person that you are. Not the human person that has spiritual experiences, but the spiritual human. Um, and to emanate that fully, full caliber, without resistance, to really be you. <laughs> it's just it's just something to to explore, okay? But there's this is all positive stuff. So, okay. That was one thing I was supposed to show you. All right. Okay, so I hear the words to, to believe in yourself. And I want to get into the books already. I want to get to know your grandmother more. Okay, they're like, all in good time, all in good time. And uh, they're opening me up to a very vast and warm space. And it's warm. Um, it makes me feel cozy. It makes me feel... Um, like I never have to worry ever again. Like I'm in the hands of love itself. I am being cradled in this space of love. And this is also a reflection of what you experience in your element when you're connected with this amazing spiritual group. Your grandmother, mother God, spirits, all of that. Um, it feels like this type of sanctuary energy nothing else can get in here. Just so you know, there's no, no vulnerabilities can get in here. It's completely, um, it's not able to even come close to getting in here. So this is expanding beyond, it's like expanding out. So your vision and your world is becoming more and more this experience. So it almost feels like this is actually something that you're going to be adapting to, that it might not be something you have to try to do, the whole blending the spirit with the human, um, world, like to become both at the same time, but something that is actually, um, happening out of its own accord. And it's, um, manifesting through your continual, uh, connection. This 67 days, that's just a beginning. I mean, I see this as, a uh, building blocks, building an, the, the most gorgeous, um, um world, um, and this is just the beginning of that world. And it's all an energy beacon of light that comes through you. That comes through your energy is shared. Um, and you're just starting to create something very special. And if so, okay, so let's say life has a challenge, all right? The more that you you keep this, this going, um, those challenges cannot... Uh, they won't get you down because you're becoming so bright that nothing can trip you, nothing can upset you, and everything is bright. And it's a bright new world. It feels more and more like that, as though this is going to just happen out of its own accord, a blending between this the element of you being in the spirit realm and bringing, merging those two together. Okay, so, they, so they're so they wanting me to just sit down here in this beautiful prairie. I mean, it's a prairie and there's, I mean, there's flowers everywhere. And the flowers are like uh, really natural, like weeds, but they're beautiful ones. They're really cute, like little cute flowers and things um, that grow on little vines, um, white and... This one has some sort of orangish, reddish. They're small. I mean, it's small grasses, short, short little little flowers, but they're everywhere. And this goes on and on. And it is so warm. It's like being cradled. <laughs> All right. So if you really adapt to this place, it's, it's like a totally real place. So I'm sitting down and... It reminds me of being a kid. So sitting down as a kid and, and, you know, in the grasses and the ants are crawling on you and then there's the gnat and then, the, you know, and you're just kind of like brushing things off, you know. Um, there's literally insects here. It's like a really natural environment. 
and it doesn't bother me at all. It actually feels lovely. I'm starting to feel like a kid again. Like it's okay to sit in the grass and have bugs crawl on you and it just it's not a big deal. You just brush it off. The older you get, the more annoying it becomes. <laughs> but as a kid, it's okay. In fact, you want to inspect the bugs more when you're a kid. I feel like I'm a child and I desire to receive love that that is true love that is real this uh, statement reminds me of a just like a flicker of an idea that hit me um how we introduce babies little kids to what is like a um really simple really soft happy um really basic images basic um interactions um, you know, with cartoon uh, animals that speak and, um, but even that is almost like it just wants to paint a picture of, of a happy world, but the real world is challenged, you know? And so it's odd, but there's almost a, a fabricated happiness about that. And this here is not fabricated, this here is not trying to cover anything up, so to speak. It's just full of energy that is that is direct nourishment to a child's soul. It's direct nourishment. It overrides anything that might be, um, you know, fluffy, cottony, um, goodness. It's actually really uh, a grounded, true love that that is emitting here for children. And this is about your books. And it's very easy to receive. I mean, I feel like, man, I really want you to know what this feels like. It's more perfect than perfect could feel. <laughs> That's how lovely it is to be here. And now I'm noticing I'm not the only child here. There's more and more children showing up. We're all sitting down. And there you are sitting in a chair and you're wanting to tell the story. You're wanting to tell a story. And it's transformative um, in your own soul's way, in your own gifted way. And it, it does. It plants a seed into every one of these hearts here. Uh, and it's so true. It's genuine. It's pure. It's... Uh, it has that energy that comes through it. That's the energy that is coming through it. And it's solid. It's a solid sincerity. I see you and your grandmother are actually sitting as one when you read this book. You and your grandma are re really close. That's very clear here. And your grandma is so proud of you. So proud of you. And boy, I don't know how to describe this, but uh, it's, it's like you do know this. And you feel a fluttering meaningfulness within yourself because you can feel your grandma's presence as well. And... And that confidence I was talking about, the strength that she shares with you, it's almost like your soul and her soul blend together to get the message out. So you're working together as one um, extraordinary team. Um, let me see. Let me just keep examining here. She, I mean, she just, just emanates, uh, I love you. She just keeps, she emanates that. It's very noticeable. Mm. There's just a lovely energy that's just processing right now. It's allowing that to happen. Have you dreamed, have, have you dreamed big before? Uh, have you, have you taken a, a dream and really saw how big it could be, that dream could be. So these three books, um, are they just three books or are they three million books that are all over the world accessible to 
freely to people anywhere all over the world. Have you dreamed big about this? You should live in a reality where you are dreaming big about what you're creating. Don't see it as a small time thing. See it as a big thing because it is a big deal and it, it, it is here to be medicine for the earth. And so don't, it's, it, this could be, this could be a special um, learning for you to, to start seeing big because there's something here in the air that, that you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to be a celebrity. You don't have to be a big deal. That's not your point. That's not why you're here. But wouldn't it be okay if what you are creating is received by many? Especially when it is providing such a gift to the world. Don't, don't see it as small time. See it as big. We want this gift to be received by many. So, um, so believe in yourself. Don't back down on this one. Yeah, there is such a beautiful energy right now that so so as you and your grandma share the message together, which is pure love. I there's a choir of people behind you so there's the children in a semicircle, and and there's the chair and then the kids are in front there's this other semicircle behind you and there's three rows of choir singers is what it's like let's just say 30 people and they're all glowing with white light and as you read the words i experience their energy being expressed through you This is all part of a plan. You, 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 you seem to have known about this. So I know, I know how strange it can be when, when we, when something happens and we didn't expect it. But yet, when we look back, it's almost like we were preparing, like we knew, and then we were putting everything into place so that this event would actually happen. So you already were planning this way before you even knew this was going to happen. And this sixty-seven day thing, I don't feel that this is going to stop anytime soon and it's going to be the full throttle that keeps the creative ideas flowing so allow these creative ideas to continue to flow and um, allow yourself to see what a big deal they are too not not just for your town or city like the world the world okay this is the next important message here Okay, the, again with the tree uh, imagery, the branches, the, the hand, like it's an arm and then here's the hand and it's a tree. So here's the trunk of the tree and then the many branches that come up and out. And I see there's a, there's a motherly figure here standing in the palm of the tree. It's kind of like the bird's nest in the palm of the, the branch. She's, she looks like Mother Mary. She looks like a, she's like the Mother God. I mean, she, she is the Mother God. <laughs> I can't, do you, do you, are you, I mean, this is all coming together here as just, as pure love, pure interconnected love. You're growing a big, deal here <laughs> okay let me let me see what this is about <sighs> hmm she's also like a bird in the tree and the tree is also like a nest where she she is perched she is very peaceful and very patient relaxed You recognize her, very familiar with her, and you turn into light and you gravitate towards her energy. 
and your grandmother smiles and waves. She's sitting on the chair, but I don't feel that she is separate from you. I feel that she is a part of you and a part of Mother God, and she's with you on this journey, very much so. And and the light of of your essence, Grandma's essence, <laughs> you go into the heart of Mother God, which is also in a way the heart of your grandma. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a, it's supposed to be defined as Mother God because we want to. It's like the ultimate uh, mother energy, the the umbrella of all mother energy is where you are um, entering into the heart of the the mother goddess energy. And you're welcomed within here wholeheartedly, <laughs> wholeheartedly welcome. And she desires to nurture you, um, to hold you like the branch that holds the bird nest or the tree that holds her energy and essence. She desires to hold you in the palm of her hand, which is also within her heart. And the most beautiful energy is just flowing through her and to you. And this feels so natural. You are really open to receiving this. There's no resistance at all whatsoever. And I start to see you become younger and younger like a baby. You, you are officially a baby now. And you just, you're giggling and laughing and you don't know anything. You're just experiencing everything. <laughs> you're in the moment, totally in the moment. It's just delightful. She, she shows me that this part of you is protected in the light and will not be tainted by any negativity will not be uh, distracted from the pure love that is she's surrounding you with so in a way you're being reborn in within the mother god energy you're being reborn within the mother god energy and this she says this is how it, it feels like it is going to be a natural occurrence. There's something to seeing the this concept of you and the element with the spirits, the spirit realm, and then merging the two worlds together. So you carry the spirit realm with you and you glow with it. You, you are glowing and you are it with every step you take. And it feels like it actually will have a natural development to it, almost an instinctive development, because it's, I see this, ba this baby version of you, and you can imagine that the, in the process of being reborn, she is pulling forth all, all the baby versions of you, and nurturing every single one of them, and within her heart, to heal all the wounds that you have carried all the wounds that you have carried and as this baby grows and develops within her heart you too grow in the light and love of all and it just feels like a very natural thing that takes is taking place you're you have no reason to not feel strong <laughs> you're in mother god's heart you got this whatever you do you got this. <laughs> Nothing is going to prevent you from having this. <laughs> and you need to pull that truth into your identity to be that truth because you are that truth. You are a walking reflection of that truth. <laughs> You're a li living, breathing version of this truth. Sis, it's really, I mean, I don't know if it could get any high caliber than this. It's really awesome. Okay. So it feels like, like this, 
this is going to be a over a course of time and perhaps your whole lifetime where you're going to be within mother god's heart uh, healing and developing in the light and love of mother god's heart and it continues to stream more light and more love into you and you are blossoming with it and it's entirely connected to everything that you are in your now as this human that you are and that's all i'm supposed to tell you <laughs> wow you should be you you should be proud of yourself but you should not only be proud of yourself you should be proud of yourself times like 10 million <laughs> and own this thing you've got a lot of love in your in your core to hear you got a lot of love that's surrounding you and that love is also expanding and it's clearing out what really doesn't matter any calamities any thing that could trip you it doesn't it doesn't have any power it doesn't hold any weight you have so much love behind you you just you you're pulling all of this in you're working with all this you're standing your truth standing your ground as this this living breathing breathing reflection of all of this love your grandma's totally a part of this i mean your grandma would be on the caliber of this is really cool to say this but so you have an archangel right our archangel can help anybody everybody at all this exact same time all over the planet you know so your grandma has this type of caliber where she is doing more than just being very close to you there's something about her connection with with children and working with children all over the globe as something her spirit is uh, ignited by that uh, working with children and it's on a on a level like you would see an archangel you know we're all over the world doing amazing things for people she's doing that too and doing that with you as well that's so special it's so special okay that's all i got <laughs> thank you so much this was so cool you should yeah this is so cool <laughs> i could talk forever about how cool this is all right thank you so much thank you for sharing as well i know a lot of a lot of people are going to enjoy this and uh, for those of you watching if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com i hope you all have a great day <laughs>